Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, we'll look at the interactive forms feature of fastreport.net. I'll show you how to make objects editable and how to significantly optimize the file size of reports with interactive forms. So, what are interactive forms? It's a feature of the PDF format that basically makes it manually editable without any special tools. You're looking at a PDF that was generated with the trial of fastreport.net. Some fields of it are highlighted. And if you click on one of those, you can edit the text inside. And also there are toggleable checkboxes. So we've made some changes. And the viewer suggests to save the file. Let's replace the original one. And all the changes are saved. Now let's look at how this report is made. Making the object editable is very simple. All you have to do is to enable its editable property. It's supported for the text object and for the checkbox. And if you want to change the cursor when it hovers above the object in preview, you can change its cursor property. Let's try disabling editable for this object and enabling it for this one. We didn't change the cursor property, so the cursor is a bit misleading right now. But now we can edit this text and can't edit this one. Let's now undo the changes and talk about the fonts. So, PDF is a portable format. And in order for the text to be displayed everywhere, all of the fonts that are used should be embedded inside the file. The problem arises when we have editable forms. In theory, you can enter all kinds of symbols in them, and they have to be displayed. And if there's a symbol that is not in the embedded font, it won't be displayed correctly or displayed at all. Especially if the font you're using is not installed on the machine where the file will be opened. For example, I'm using a PC with Russian locale now, and some Latin fonts won't be displayed in PDF if they're not embedded. But if we would embed the complete font with all of its characters, the PDF file will be too large. And in the latest version, we've implemented a solution for this problem. You can set up a pattern in regular expressions to limit what font subsets will be embedded, besides those which are needed to display all the characters that are outside of interactive forms. So, now I will show you how you can set up and use these patterns. And all the examples of patterns and code fragments will be in the description. Firstly, the pattern is an export parameter. It can't be added to export properties menu, because it's a property that's specific to a report. Instead, it should be dynamically set in the code or in the script. So, let's finally demonstrate how it's done in the designer. Go to the report tree and select the report. Then, create a start report event handler by double-clicking on it. Add using fast report export PDF, which will allow you to use PDF export properties. And then, paste the code fragment that you can find in the description. It adds an event that configures export parameters after the report is built and before export happens. And the most important string of code here is this one. PDF export interactive forms font set pattern. And the pattern itself is numbers from 0 to 9. So, let's look at how this would change the exported PDF file. I'll come in the slide for now and export the report without setting up a pattern. And for this editable object, I'll change the font. I'll save it as interactive forms 1.pdf. We can input any text in its editable text objects. Now let's get back to the code and uncomment the line that sets up a pattern. And export the report as interactive forms 2.pdf. You can see that the file size has significantly decreased after we enabled the pattern. So, if we would try to input text into the editable PDF fields now, the characters that are guaranteed to be displayed are numbers. And also other letters that are used in the static text objects. And in this object, that has a font that's not used anywhere else in the report. Only characters that will be displayed are the numbers. So, this was today's lesson on FastReport. In the description, you can find a code fragment for the designer, and also the pattern for embedding the Latin script and a set of punctuation symbols. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel.